HSG has a global membership of over 400 investigators at 100 research sites at, in the United States, Canada, Australia, and around the world. Uh, all of us are working uh, hard to seek and find treatments that make a difference for individuals with Huntington's disease. In early 1990s, I, along with my colleagues, principally Jack Penny, who's unfortunately no longer with us, founded the Huntington Study Group. It was just at the time that the gene linkage for Huntington's disease was identified. The principal activities of the Huntington Study Group are to help design and conduct uh, frequently global clinical trials of promising therapeutics for Huntington's disease. Uh, beyond designing and conducting clinical trials, we try to be an invaluable research partner to families, to sponsors, pharmaceutical firms, and to our members. And through that, we try to educate and train uh, clinicians in uh, the care of individuals with Huntington's disease. Well, families are our primary mission and the reason for our existence is we're one to, we know that Huntington's disease is a very burdensome condition and it plays out over multiple generations. We want to help reduce the burden of the disease and we want to increasingly make Huntington's disease a treatable condition over the next five to ten years. We think we can do that by helping identify promising treatments and ideally pushing them past regulatory approval so that they're available to families. We think there's more that we can do in terms of improving the quality of care that we provide to individuals with Huntington's disease. And we know that that care involves not just you know, care from uh, physicians, but care from uh, psychiatrists, psychologists, physical therapists, occupational therapists, social workers, uh, to all around the needs of uh, families. And there's probably a lot more that we can do for people who live with Huntington's disease on a day-to-day -day basis. We have still a lot of work to do to learn from the community and from families and find ways that we can help them when they're not in the clinic. I'm looking for something to try to help uh, the Huntington's and I wanted to see a study that was going to help me because I was uh, wobbling around very bad eight or, about eight years ago when I did get in. And uh, this study meds have definitely helped me out, especially the stuff I'm on now. I think it's so important to have families involved as we're planning these studies, as we're doing research, and as we think about the problems facing HD patients and families. You know, all of us who've worked with families for a long time have a good idea of what we think families need, but I think it changes, and I think that as we get to know more people and more families get involved in research, there are going to be more and more needs that we find out about. You look good. You want to come back in? Yeah, thank you. You know, from my perspective as a physician treating people with incurable diseases and unmet therapeutic needs, I feel it's my responsibility to try to identify better therapies for people with these conditions as part of my uh, role as uh, somebody taking care of them and helping them manage a very difficult illness. So um, that's, what, that's why I do research, that's what research means to me, and that's why I think it's incredibly valuable. The future of HSG is very exciting. The inclusion of more people really is setting up HSG to launch into something much bigger than I think maybe they even dreamed it could be. And that's very exciting. The more people we have, the more minds we have, the more creative ideas we can come up with, and out of creativity comes innovation and exciting things. I don't think there's a better time in the history of the world to work on Huntington's disease, nor do I think it's, I just don't think there's a better time in history even to have Huntington's disease than now, because there's more hope than there's, there's ever been, legitimate hope. There's more drugs coming through the pipeline, there's more pharmaceutical companies invested and involved. The Huntington Study Group, I think, has been part of generating that. And there's just an increasing awareness that we're on the precipice of making this an inherited autosomal dominant neurodegenerative condition, one that's not characterized by those adjectives, but was characterized by the adjective that's a treatable condition.